Hey guys, today we're going to be working on something really fun. Our tulips have started blooming in our cut flower garden and today we're going to be harvesting some of them and making them into bouquets to share with our neighbors. The best time to harvest your tulips if you're going to be using them as cut flowers is when the bud has just started to color up. So the one that I'm showing you on the left here is perfect. The one on the right where you can kind of already see the petals unfurling is a little bit past its prime already. This might seem a little weird because you might think that you want the flower open all the way, but it will actually have the longest vase life if you leave it in this bud form and it will open up in the vase so that whoever you give these flowers to can enjoy seeing all stages of the flower opening up. To harvest these tulips, we're going to grab each stem at the base and instead of cutting it there, we're going to pull the entire thing up, bulb and all. This may seem kind of crazy and it was weird to me when I learned that this is how flower farmers do it, but the reason you do this is because you get a lot of extra stem length by pulling the entire stem. So you can see here when I pull it at ground level, there's a good like four to six inches that was below the ground that now you have that extra stem length. And it's always best to have a longer stem when you're working with bouquets and arrangements because then you have more wiggle room and to make sure that if you're putting it in a tall vessel, you have enough stem for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up all of the tulips that I see that are in this colored bud form. I'm sure most of you already know this, but you plant the bulbs in the fall and the tulips will come up in the spring. And typically, if you plant this in your landscape, you're gonna plant it maybe like six inches apart. But for me, I planted this area very densely because I knew I was going to be harvesting all these tulips as cut flowers. So I basically laid them out in a trench and they were spaced as far apart as eggs in an egg carton would be. So basically right next to each other and almost touching. And by doing this, I was able to fit 100 tulip bulbs in about 10 feet of my row, which is about three feet wide. So here are the tulips that I pulled. I did plant a mix that was supposed to be a bunch of colors, but most of them seem to be like coral and red. I think they're really beautiful and I'm gonna turn them into some bouquets so that we can share with our neighbors and hopefully they'll brighten their day. To prep these flowers, we're going to cut off the bulbs at the bottom of each of these stems. And these bulbs are just going to go straight into our compost. You might wonder if you can replant these and get another tulip the next year, but the short answer is no, nothing's gonna come up. Since we pulled the entire plant, this bulb is not going to have any leaves to help it to photosynthesize and have energy to be stored into the bulb to bloom again the next year. So in all likelihood, it's probably just going to rot in the ground. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this into our compost pile. For each of these stems, we're also going to strip off the bottom two leaves. I like to leave the top leaf of each of these stems. I think it helps to fill out the bouquet a little bit, but this is personal preference. If you would rather take them all off and just have the flowers, you can do that, or you can leave two leaves as well if you want it to look a little fuller. These leaves are going to go along with the bulbs into our compost as well. To make these bouquets, I started off with some craft paper. I cut it out to about a 15 by 15 inch square and I'm just gonna fold it on the diagonal but a little bit offset so that you end up with these two offset corners. And then around the middle of the folded part, I'm just gonna cut a slit a few inches down, fold up those corners, and this doesn't have to be exact. I'm clearly not measuring anything and that's totally fine. Then I'm going to lay about a dozen tulips. We ended up pulling about 25, so I'm going to do like 12 or 13 for each of these bouquets. And I think that's a nice number that will fill out really nicely once all of these flowers are in bloom. So I'm just laying them out and making sure that the top of the flowers comes out of the top of the craft paper cone a good amount. It just makes it a little prettier if you have them sticking out a little more rather than tucked into the paper cone. Then I'm just going to wrap the sides around making sure to keep it as tight as possible around the bottom of the cone and flaring it out towards the top. And then I'm just going to staple this into place. Then I take my flower snips and just snip off the bottom of the stems so that they are all about the same length. And this is the finished bouquet. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and make the next one for you so you can see the process all over again. So just folding my paper cone here, laying down the flowers again, and folding it over and stapling it into place. This is my first time making bouquets for anyone else, so it's a little bit of a new process for me, but I really love how these turned out. They're really simple since it's just one type of flower, but I think it's gonna make people really happy. And I know that everybody just wants to have a little bit of spring inside their homes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.